I just came across probably the the greatest video, most wholesome, makes you feel good video on the internet. And I want to share my thoughts with you guys. They said that I was going to die at the age of two. Nothing happened. But at the age of four, nothing happened. And then when I was about seven, the rest is history. Christopher was diagnosed with thanatophoric dysplasia. So last time we covered one of these videos, it was about a really, really strong Russian Russian chick, um, and that one that one was very much more lighthearted. And this one is also going to be kind of lighthearted, but man, we are about to meet an amazing person, somebody who I never even met, but for some strange reason, and not trying to get cringe here, but I feel like we share a lot of the same characteristics. So not going to go through the whole video because <laughs> last time I did that with the Russian chick kind of got a copyright claim or whatever no big deal uh, that's probably gonna happen again this time but just to keep things a little shorter just gonna go through the most important clips uh, that I have something to say about uh, and then we're gonna go from there so roll the film I'm going to give you a yogurt Remember, I need assistance with everything when it's eating taking a salad brushing my teeth going to the bathroom I have two foot hands his condition is worse and worse every day. He was driving and he fell down and we had to go to the doctor. I was pronounced dead. I think that he I was dead. That happened nine months ago. When I was a year and a half, I got pneumonia. They did the safety afterwards and then they diagnosed me as trying to play this brain type two. Yeah, is when he was four years old. The doctor say he's going to die. That was very hard. And we say we have to do a big, big party because he's going to die. Every single year after that, we go to the same doctor and we love it in his face <laughs> that I'm still alive. I am 24 years old. Man, so just right off the gate, man, it's just, it's crazy how far medical technology has advanced i mean he's technically not spo supposed to even be alive at this age uh and then just to think about how no how zero privacy this guy has uh no autonomy no no agency over his own body like you just saw he needs help with everything so just imagine that i mean some of you people get you know really tight when someone asks you for help and this guy well, he doesn't have a choice but just imagine that um, and then when his mom said to have a big, big party because he's going to die, <laughs> look, I took a little bit because I know what she was trying to say and it just didn't come out right, you know, <laughs> um, hope I'm not the only one there. Um, but yeah, and then whenever he mentioned, um, how he, they go to the same doctor every year just to rub it in the face that he's still alive. I just, was, I mean, you have to imagine make a wish has probably reached out to him a bunch of times. And then every year is like, not today, not this year, maybe next year. <laughs> like, I just wonder how many Make-A-Wish emails he has in his in, in his inbox. Like, hey, hey, you want you want to go to Disney World? You want to meet LeBron James? And then, well, not like he needs help meeting celebrities, and you'll see that in a second. Really happy for him, but at the same time, it's like, like his mom said, his condition gets worse every day. So it's like, we know the clock is ticking for for him, and it, that's really sad to think about it. But at the same time. Uh, when we go through the rest of this video, you're gonna see why, you know, I just, this person makes me so happy. Showed me how I had to do it. The first time, that was very, very scary. I just can't disconnect here. When he, I do this, oh my God. But with the time you use it. I learned how to suction him at a really young age, since like seven years old. The first time I suctioned him, I was definitely Scared because we were in the moving vehicle. My mom was driving and he needed suction right away and there was nowhere to stop. Look, he, this, this guy is so happy and I just have to comment on this real quick because when you take into account everything this guy has going for him in his life, I mean, he has every reason, every reason to be miserable. Can't do anything, needs help with everything, can't walk. He, he he's gonna die soon at this but at the same time with all that considered he's still smiling why that just rem that just it reminds me a lot about myself because you know i do consider myself to be a more positive upbeat person not upbeat but i usually stay positive regardless of whatever ha is happening in my life um and obviously you know i don't have it far off as, as other people do but 
Um, one, one thing that's been consistent is that I don't really let things get, you know, get down on me. Like, I don't let them affect me too much. Um, and it can be a huge thing or it can be like someone forgetting, you know, bacon on my salad or something like that. And, you know, 2021 hasn't been the best year for me. I mean, I've lost a lot of people. Both. I mean, I lost my grandmother earlier this year. May she rest in peace. And then I lost a few, you know, other relationships, you know, friendships in my life this year, too. So it hasn't been the best year for me. But you know what? I'm still smiling, still living on. As long as I'm still alive and I'm still breathing, you know, I'm still going to have that second chance. I'm still going to have tomorrow to either make things better or just see, you know, where life uh, takes me. But, man, this, just seeing people like this, I've never, like I said, never met this guy, but I just, I want pe more people like this around me and in my life. Uh, I think that's very important. You know, there's a lot of people out there who, you know, they just let the most littlest things get to them. I mean, we're talking about, you know, the barista getting you know, their coffee wrong in the morning and that ruins their whole day. It's like, think about the big picture. You're still breathing. You still have a stable job. You have people around you. Like, those moments, you just need to take a step back and then kind of, you know, see the bigger picture. So, I mean, like I said, this, this, this just watching this guy's life makes me so happy. So, journalism has been a very important part of his life. I know that he always wanted to be a journalist. Another interest of his is looking for celebrities. But uh, I became famous just because my Instagram numbers started to go up. This is the day one month after the World Cup for 2014 happened. That day, Christopher, his picture with Thomas Rodriguez, the number one player in the Columbia team. The star player, social media, social media, my phone just starts blowing up out of nowhere. When I drag some enemies, that takes a lot of dedication. I need to know everything, every single step they take. Billy Irish won a hard one who just got lucky who followed a car to a tattoo place. And there was literally half the city waiting outside the place. She came out, she mouthed her friend. I got my picture with said, it was a cool moment. Will Nas X, he had just won a real mail award, so he was in a good mood. I got to the, to the location. She greeted me nice enough to let me in and wait for him to come out. We laid with the chat. We were able to sing a little bit. Yeah, he was really, really nice. My celebrity stalking skills helped me with my journalism. I only applied to three schools. I wanted to show my family that I could do it, but deep down, I had my doubts too. I got an email. I opened it, and it's Columbia. It's Columbia. This is the defining moment. I got my bachelor's degree from journalism. I'm a dog university and my master's of science from Columbia University Graduate School of Journalism. It was hard but I was able to graduate with honors. My mom, her face, watching her face was crazy. Alright, so hold on. This guy, I don't know how I feel about this to be honest. He stalks celebrities, right? That's legal, right? I mean, anyone can do that? I mean, I don't really know what to say about this. So this guy's hobby is basically to... <laughs> yeah, no, I really don't know what to say. I mean, his his hobby is to stalk celebrities and get selfies with them. Is What, what am I supposed to say to that? You mean, considering his condition, am I supposed to <laughs> help me out here? What's going on? <laughs> Okay, kind of, kind of to move along from that. All right, you talk celebrities, whatever. Guys, degree. How many of you are making excuses not to go to college or trade school or whatever and get some kind of education? I mean, that's awesome. Good for him. <laughs> Bravo. Props for me. Okay. When I go outside, a lot of people wants to know how we try him. It used to be an everyday thing. He comes to the park. Every day we have to do this. To see him smiling, laughing, that's everything. I don't need more. I'm not going. I like to meet people. My dream 
This is to wrap things up. I mean, go watch this full video. I just kind of wanted to make a summary here, but really, you know, take time out of your day just to step back and just be grateful for everything you have and kind of where you're at in life. Obviously, everyone watching this video, I don't know who is going to be, who everyone's background is watching this video. Um, but, you know, just, just be grateful. Be even grateful for having two hands. Be grateful for walking. I mean, it's the little stuff like that that we sometimes take for granted. I mean, I certainly have in the past before, and uh, it's just things like that you, you do have to keep in mind. Um, but that was pretty much it. Everything I wanted to do today. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, leave a like and a comment. Subscribe. Uh, I really don't know the future of this channel, and you know what kind of videos I'm going to be putting out from now on. But uh, just thanks for all the support, and uh, catch you guys uh, later. Now let me tell you about a crazy story. So there was once a dude or a chick who just got done watching the most amazing YouTube video on the internet. And then all of a sudden the video was over, right? They were left helpless like little sheep wondering what to do. And then all of a sudden a crazy idea came into their minds. And that was to possibly subscribe to my channel!